five. I was just sitting here rocking out, like, oh, rocking, rocking out. And then I realized, yeah, I should probably um, hop on our live. So, <laughs> ooh, ooh, this is very pink. We're going to switch that to something less pink, except now it's on half my lips. <laughs> Stampin' lips gone a little crazy here today. I think my bottom lip might be a different color than my top lip, and you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> there we go. I tried to scrape off the bottom. I don't know. We'll see. It's all good. So, hey, <laughs> um, I am giggling because um, I was literally rocking out and wasn't paying attention to the time. So I'm very excited about this week. Um, a whole bunch of stuff is happening, but um, it's if I can get through this week, then I get a week off. I'm really excited about that. <sighs> I need a break. Mama needs a break. So it's been so crazy between my kids, my um, the new catalog launching, all the things that go with that, and just generally being busy and not having a break for a while. It's time. <laughs> so I'm very excited about that. Um, I have, whenever a new catalog launches, there's so many extra things that go on in conjunction with that new catalog. So I'm really looking forward to a break because it's been a really busy month. <laughs> uh, so um, let's see. I also, will I be on next Monday? Nope. I will tell you why too, because I'm going, um, well, I'm going on vacation next week and that's going to start with Memorial Weekend. So um, I am going to start things off with my husband. We're going to a concert. I'm super excited about it. Um, in fact, that's what I was rocking out to in preparation for my concert. We're going to see Coldplay, so that's going to be awesome. I'm very excited. That's been one of my bucket list concerts. And I think um, it'll be pretty cool because we're going to have a little getaway overnight away from the kids and the dog and responsibilities. And so the reason I will not be live on Monday is because I plan to be hungover. I don't drink much, so I get to have a night out with my husband where I can be crazy. Not crazy, but like let loose. So, <laughs> um, I'm really excited about that, and I think it's going to be super fun. Um, and then after that, like a day or so later, then I'm leaving for kind of a retreat, and it's kind of a working retreat, but it um, it will be really fun. It's with a whole bunch of demonstrators. And uh, we're going to have a really good time. And I'm very, very, very much looking forward to it because we haven't seen each other. And we were supposed to be on our incentive trip last week and we didn't get that. Um, so I'm really looking forward to getting together with my Stampin' people because I miss them. And so it's going to be really awesome. So anywho, um, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm giggling, Kim. <laughs> my work makes fun of me when I take days off when I know I will be hungover. <laughs> uh, that makes me giggle. Um, I probably will actually be working on Monday, but I won't be live. So um, I need I need a break. Hopefully, I'll, hopefully y'all understand that. I mean, um, I feel like I haven't had a lot of breaks. Um, where I can just not even think about work at all. Oh, here's hope. Oh, here's crossing my fingers that that will be the case. But um, it should be lots and lots of fun. And of course, I'm going to see my Stampin' Besties, which you know that always makes me happy. So, um, let's see what else happened last week. What was last week? Oh, last week. Let me give you this the update on state. Oh my gosh. So we had um. We had state on Friday, 
Thursday we got ready for state. Then we left for Carol left for state Thursday night, and then um, Friday was uh, was state. And Ella and I went. Unfortunately, my husband had a really kind of a big meeting he couldn't get out of going to with like some of the very top people in the company um, were like coming in for a demonstration that I believe he was giving. So anyway, uh, so we went to state. It was super cool. Um, Carl was uh, running at Drake University, which is in Des Moines. And um, I had actually not ever been there. So it was pretty cool to go. And the crowd was like amazing. Um, he did not have his best race, but it was a really great experience for him to go. And he really enjoyed all of that part. It was pretty great to be able to run um, with like all the very best people in the state. And he met a bunch of really, really interesting and fascinating and fast um, people. So that was pretty cool. And um, he had a great time. Hey, could you grab me? Um, that thing that, um, Sherry made me is like tucked oh, yeah. over there. Could you grab that for me? Thank you. Um, anyway, so he, he did a great job. And can I just tell you that my daughter yelled louder than I did at the meet and her voice was like going, whoa. And by the way, it was t tricky because there were like 14,000 spectators there. So it was hard for my voice to carry over all those people. But don't you worry, it did. <laughs> it was, but I really had to work it. And I have to laugh because we were right, right by the finish line, like right there, um, the start and finish line. And so um, his coach was sitting right in front of us. And I think he was just like, dear Lord, what is up with these girls? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was pretty funny. Uh, so I had a really good time um, cheering him on and we watched a couple other races. And then, so he was in the first of two heats and then the second heat of his race, which is the four by 800, they, um, the winning team actually got one of the top 10, They or they broke like into the top 10 of all um of all races run this year in the nation. So like they were, I think they said number four, but I can't be positive. Um, so they got the fourth fastest time in all of the high schoolers in the country. So that was pretty cool to watch. And the crowd kind of did go crazy and they were like really fast, like, wow. So that was pretty cool. And, um, then Carl came home on, he didn't come home till Saturday. So we had a couple days away. That was kind of fun. So my husband and I spent a little bit of time together this weekend, but we also worked and uh, I did some catch up this weekend because, oh my gosh, there's just so much stuff happening. So yeah. Um, oh, that was my assistant, Whitney, not not my dog. She's upstairs. She's kind of on my list today because she um, she ate one of my pot holders and I don't have that many left because she's had actually a couple. She jumped up on the counter and grabbed it. Um, and by the time I got to it, it was mostly disintegrated. So that was kind of a bummer. You know, when you get stuff that you like, and it was actually, I think that was an old... Um, I almost said Creative Memories. That's the wrong kind of company. Pampered Chef one. It was kind of nice and I really liked it. And everything now is silicone and I don't like that. I just like the fabric-y ones. And that was a fabric-y one. So long story short, I need to buy some pot holders. I tell you, life is difficult with a dog sometimes. But she's so flipping cute. And um, she also... Uh, she also was super sweet. She missed Carl so much. And I think I told you last week that he had been working a ton. So we were picking him up at night, um, every night, like um, the week before, like till he worked till like 9.30 or 10. And so we would go pick him up. So she got in the habit, we would take her with us in the car. So she got in the habit of like getting all excited at that time of night. If he wasn't home, we were going to go pick him up. So 
<laughs> so while he was gone at state, she kept like she was ready to go at 9 30 at night and it was like no no it's bedtime not get excited time so anyway I could knit some um no I don't knit pot holders I don't think no I don't knit that I mean could I I guess but I don't I don't think I have the right yarn for that anyway um, most of my yarn is wool and I don't know that wool is the right thing for pot holders and I, uh, that's not my deal. Anyway, <laughs> I know I could, I could do a lot of things <laughs> like, yeah, anyway. <laughs> so, um, that in a nutshell, I believe covers my week. Oh, of course, Ella came home. You saw that last week. Um, it was really nice to have her home for a few days. She's gone and then she's coming back. So um, I'm looking forward to it, uh, to having her home again for a couple days and then she's gone. I kind of realized this morning, like, I guess I am only going to get her for a couple days at a time for the rest of my life. Ah! It just sort of dawned on me because she's busy, you know, with like things and life and things and, um, and like stuff. So, <laughs> how did that happen? <sighs> it's the internship in the summer that she's just not coming home for like three months. <sighs> oh, well, it's, it's going to be okay, I think. <laughs> all right, so enough talk about all of those things. Um, this week, like I said, it's a busy week. We've got a bunch of stuff going out this week. We've got new catalog um new catalog kickoff make and take packets. I still have a couple left. There's a link in the description of this video if you would like to get one. The projects are amazing and um, there's all kinds of really good stuff that's included in them. So um, make sure you get registered for that. We I also have two classes that are going out um, either by the end of the week or, or at the beginning of next week. And they are the um, Wisteria Wishes class and the Cup of Tea online class. We're going to make a Cup of Tea card here in just a little bit today. And then, um, and then is there anything else? I think, I think, I think, I think. Oh, um, let me, let me do my little papers because you know I got my papers. Okay, I'm going to flip my camera. There we go. Okay, so I've got my little papers. So first of all, there's just um, about a week left to take advantage of the joining special where you get a bonus of 65 um, dollars in extra fabulousness in your kit and what that means is you get the in colors um you get the in color ink pads an assortment of the cardstock a package of the dsp and a package of uh, grid paper added to your to your starter kit so that's an extra 65 dollars you get to choose 125 dollars of whatever it is you want and whether you want to grow a business or just enjoy a discount there is a place for you on my team and we would love to have you it's a really great deal it's the best deal stampin up offers us and there's so much happening um and really lots of wonderful reasons to join my team. So I would encourage you to do that if you have um, at all been interested in getting a discount on your purchases. This is the best way to do it, especially right now. So this special goes through the end of May, May 31st. Um, all right, our new catalog kickoff party is complete but the make and takes are going out this week so make sure you get registered if you have not already again there's a link in the description of this video and then my two online classes the first is the wisteria wishes class oh these cards are just classic they're simple to make they're really pretty they show off all the great stuff that comes in this bundle um, and i highly highly recommend it 
It's a good class. Um, and this is uh, coming out next week, as is the cup of tea. When you get both classes, by the way, you get a little discount. Um, and it's a great deal. We have some really fantastic projects for this cup of tea class. I'm very excited about that. Um, and then my hues of happiness. This is my... Um, my uh, what am I calling it? My sunshine and creativity delivered box for this month. So uh, what I love about that is we voted and and the vote definitely came back as hues of happiness. So we are going to make some really awesome projects. Oh my gosh, you guys, I already have the projects ready. They're fantastic. Oh. So uh, make sure you get registered by the 31st if you would like this box. It goes out on the 15th. All right. And then last but not least, there's a few more days left to get in on the All-Star Tutorial Bundle PDF. Of course, you can purchase the PDF anytime, but you can get it free when you spend $75 or more, or pardon me, $50 or more in my online store. Um, and you'll get this project, 12 project PDF with some really amazing projects included in it for free. So take advantage of that. All right. Now I've got some stuff to show you from my birthday last week. Um, we had a lovely day. And let me share with you some of my goodies. I have a whole bunch of cards to show you today. I'm just grabbing them all out of my drawer here. Okay. So, here we go. So, I got... Oh, let's start with this over here. Okay. So, here is a beautiful card from Lori, who sent this to me with a lovely little message. And thank you so much for that, Lori. I appreciate it. She used a beautiful paper pumpkin kit um, on this beautiful card. Then we have a cute little birthday card with my favorite colors from, um, this is an old dandelion set that we had from Sherry. So, thank you, Sherry. I love the colors. This is so fun. Um, here is one from, oh, Tiffany. Thank you so much, Tiffany. I appreciate that. Some, a cool watercolor background, which I love, love, love. Here is another gorgeous card. This one is from Crystal, I think, on my team. Yeah, Crystal. And I love this Crystal. Oh my gosh, I just got all this stuff. This is from the new, um, Texture Chic or Season of Chic bundle and I'm excited to uh, play with that and thank you so much for that card I love all that gold stuff then check this card out you guys oh this is from uh, one of my team members as well Jennifer are you ready what it is so cute it's um the new little um elephant I can't think of the name the elephant bundle. And is this not just the cutest card? So isn't that amazing? Thank you so, so much. Oh, how adorable is that? So um, I'm thinking this is one that's going to go on the shelf because it'll sit just like that. How cool is that? I know y'all are going to say, well, how do you make it? I don't know. This looks like a lot of work. I'm not sure I can do this. But it actually, it doesn't look too complicated, but I don't know. It looks like it does. It still looks like kind of a lot of work, you guys. And I'm not sure if I'm up for that. Here, she even decorated the front of the card or envelope, which was fun. So anywho, um, here's a really cute card. This one is from Penny, who's on my team. Thank you so much. Another adorable card. Look at that from Julie. <gasps> love, 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 love that. Here's another fun one with that. Um, ooh, what is this set called? Tulip Fields. Um, this is really pretty from Elaine, who actually just joined my team last week. So thank you, Miss Elaine. She joined under Jennifer, who made that really cool card with the elephants. Um, and then here is a really sweet card. This one is from Nancy. Thank you so much, Nancy. Love it. You know, I am a sucker for the black and white with the pop of color. 
And then this was a cute card from um, Dodie. I think that's how you say it. Or Dottie. I don't know. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm never po positive. But I love it. It uses like the coolest set in the whole wide world, which is, of course, pretty perennials. <laughs> so thank you so much. Here's another pretty card. This one is from, I think this one was from Carol. Yes, from Carol, who, um, she, this was one of our projects in Watercolor Stamp Camp. Isn't it awesome? Oh, I love it. So thank you so much, Miss Carol. This one is from one of my team members, Tanya. So thank you so much. Very sweet. That's with a berry set from, oh, about a year ago, year and a half ago. Um, here's another pretty card. This one with a very sweet message from Mary, who's on my team. Thank you so much, Mary. She did a class with um, some stenciling that she was sharing, which is pretty cool. This is another pretty card from Shella. Thank you so much, Shella. I gotta love the pink. And here's a fun one. This one is from Debbie, who's on my team, and she did those hexagons, which I just love, and the abstract beauty paper. Isn't that pretty? Love it. I love how she did the outlines of these, too. It's really fun. Then this one made me giggle. This is a, um, a postcard from Delpha, or Gail, sorry, Gail, Gail, who couldn't make me a card because she was at her condo in Hawaii, and um, I almost feel bad for her, but not quite. <laughs> so thank you and I'm jealous <laughs> and then here is another beautiful card this one is from Adrian who's on my team thank you so much Miss Adrian I love your cards she shares lots of her cards on our team Facebook page which is always super fun and then I've got another pretty card here from Suzanne thank you Miss Suzanne I loved that ice cream bundle. Here's another, this was kind of a fun oldie but goodie. This is a card from several years ago, or the uh, the products are from several years ago. Um, I want to say it was Cake Soiree was the name of this, but how cute. And that is from Elizabeth. Thank you so much, Miss Elizabeth. All right, a pile number two is coming up. Now I got two, not one, but two packages and I think Sherry's on here. Um, I think I messed this up. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I did it wrong. So um, Sherry is on my team and she sent me this cute little uh, card, which I, tr I saw this and I thought it meant that I was supposed to pull. And I pulled and I pulled it right out. <laughs> I think that wasn't what I was supposed to do. I think it was supposed to do other stuff. But she made me this cute little album with some of my favorite people and puppies. <laughs> so there's a picture of Barb and Kelly and I from our various trips. And then um, this is my husband and I in um, Maui last year. And this is from our spring break trip. And that is... Um, that is our Izzy with her best friend, Max. And then both of my kids with Izzy, which is really sweet. When she was littler, she's gotten a lot bigger now. And then, um, and then this is from a team event we had last November. So all these fun pictures, but it was supposed to go in, I don't know, I ripped it, ripped out. I don't know what I did, I'm so sorry. But I loved this so, so much. Once you open it, it would pull. Okay, yeah, I messed that up, I'm so sorry. Except this is just the prettiest. And of course, she used the best. Um, these are the dies from my, um, from my stamp set. But anyway, I just had to share that little album with you. It was so sweet. And I actually have this sitting over by my computer because I just love it so much. She also sent me these cookies and they, I don't even, maybe if you can explain them on here, Sherry, they were called life changing cookies. And there was a really sweet story that went with it, but, um, they were really yummy. 
And so she sent me a package of those. And then she sent me a couple of framed pictures. And by the way, I put that one, one of those pictures on my husband's um, work desk upstairs. And Whitney was really funny. She's like, let's see how long it takes him to figure out that it's there. And it was like two minutes. He figured it out right away. And I did kind of tuck it behind. But there's not a lot on his desk. So <laughs> anyway, that was kind of funny. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much for that, Sherry. Um, I also got this. This cracks me up. This is from uh, Nancy, who's on my team. She sent me this package of rainbow Sharpies. And this goes with the package of rainbow post-its she sent me over the holidays, which is hilarious. I actually have been kind of like saving them because I don't want to use the post-its. They're so pretty. <laughs> but I love the Sharpies and, you know, you really can't go wrong. There's also Mystic Gems Sharpies is what these are called, which is like, wow. And then this is her the birthday card she sent me, which is so gorgeous. I love, love, love this. And... um of course, a really kind note in there. And then this was a cute little box that she created. Isn't that adorable? And then in the box was some good stuff, some uh, chocolates. So thank you so much. So that was a very sweet package. So thank you, Nancy. Nancy's on my team. Um, and then I got some more cards. Look at this one. This one, I believe, was from, yeah, from Canada, from Sonia. And I think you're on here, Sonia. Loved this card. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so, so, so pretty. Thank you so much. I got this beautiful card. Isn't that gorgeous as well? This one is from Gail, who's on my team. She lives here in Iowa. So thank you for thinking of me, Miss Gail. I miss seeing you in person. She lives closer to my old house. Um, this is a really pretty card that I got from Ta Tana. I think that's how you say that. Uh, Tan she's actually sisters with Sherry. So thank you so much for thinking of me. Um, and I actually have met her. Bless her heart. Um, here's a beautiful black and white card from Gloria. Gloria Rayford. Thank you, Miss Gloria. I think you might be on here as well. I thought I saw your name. Um, and then here is a pretty card. This is a latch card. I think that's what you call these. Oops, I had it backwards. So you tuck that in like so, and then you open it up like that. That is from Sharon. So thank you so much, Sharon. Isn't that fun? This one is, of course, awesome because it's shimmery glitter paper. This one is from Betty. So thank you for thinking of me, Betty. Here is a sweet card. I recognize this one. This one is from Jeannie. Janine or Jeannie. Janine. Never know. Anyway, I love it. Of course, best set ever. So much fun. Here's another super fun card with my favorite colors. This is from Sherry, who is on my team, and she is an amazing stamper. So thank you. Also, I love that she's got the decorated envelope to coordinate. Here's another sweet, sweet card from Mary. Thank you, Miss Mary. I love this. Oh, I miss that punch too. Another gorgeous card. Of course, you had me at Coastal Cabana. <laughs> um, and this is Diana Banks. So isn't that so sweet? She's on my team as well. That's the Blossoms in Bloom bundle, I want to say. I think. I think. I think that's right. Then, oh, you guys, this card is so pretty too. Um, this is from Gloria Davis. Yeah. And it's the um, Rain Boots card. Or flowering rain boots bundle and then she made the background wood texture which is really cool and a sweet little note included in here so thank you so much Gloria another beautiful card oh I just love this you know I'm all about the black and white cards so um this beautiful card is from Eileen and I uh, I know I saw her on Facebook earlier today I'm not sure if she's on our video live right now or not, but thank you so much. 
Here's another fun one, black and white with a pop of color. This is from Cindy. She, if she's not on here, I bet she'll see this video. So thank you, Miss Cindy. You are, you are the best. Um, then we've got a fun card from Linda. Oh, I love combining new and old things. So this is the new Cottage Rose stamp set. And then this is the paper that went to the Hydrangea Hill from a couple years ago. Or maybe it was just last year. Sorry, time flies. But isn't that fun? I like how she did that DSP um, on here. Isn't that cool? Folded it around. Then here's another beautiful card. This is another member of my team, Miss Dolores. Love it. And then here's another gorgeous card. This is the Flowering Tulips and um, another beautiful card. This is from Betty. So thank you so much, Betty. I love it. Love it. Love it. Another beauty. This one is that um, we actually had a card earlier with the berry set. Oops. I was just reading a thing about wild blueberries too, by the way. So, and then this one is from Sandy. Oh, Sandy's the best. She lives in St. Louis. I've met her before, which is pretty cool. And then one more gorgeous card. This one is from Tara. Thank you so much with my favorite color. I really appreciate it. And of course, I love when the envelopes coordinate too. So thank you all so very much. Let me just kind of get all of this stuff set aside. So what, a, what an amazing treat to get all those cards for my birthday. I really appreciate it. Um, I haven't gotten my mail yet today or no, actually, I think I did. Um, but I've been getting cards have continued to come in. So they are so wonderful. I love spreading the birthday out all month long. So I'm so grateful for all of you. All right. Um, Okay, I'm just checking out. Um the comments to make sure there's nothing I missed. Okay. Oops, sorry. All right, I think we're good. Okay. So, thank you all so so much. All right, it's time to stamp. So our first card is actually kind of funny, um, the origins of it anyway. <laughs> the, uh, the thing is, um, during our cat new catalog kickoff party, we had a scavenger hunt in which I stamped a whole bunch of images from different stamp sets. And then people had to figure out what stamp sets they were all from. So uh, I thought it was really cool um, because I used this one, this one little girl in as one of the images that people had to figure out what it was from, which set it was from. Anyway, so it was this girl and I could not, um, I could not put this away without wanting to make a card with it because she, I just love her curly little hair and thought it would be pretty cool. So, um, anyway. Oh, I just caught a It's way worse than I thought it would be when I'm living through it. Uh-oh, I'm so sorry I'm not. I don't know what that is about, but I'm so sorry to whomever. Oh, hip replacement, I see. Ah, oh, well, I hope you uh, get happy, happy healing. So anyway, um, so we're going to use this this new set called By My Side, and I just love it. And I have to giggle. Um, this one is one I thought... Um, was just adorable and I don't know if you guys think this is like a kid set or not but I think it's an anybody set um I, so I don't think it has to be a kid set but uh I've got I had this piece of crumb cake cardstock sitting on my desk and I wanted to use it for my card so this is a half sheet the long way um or as we like to call it the hot dog way so it's four and a quarter by 11 inches. I've scored it at five and a half and then realized I needed to score it again at two and three quarters. So I'm going to do that right here. Okay, and we're going to cut, create um, an easel card out of this. All right, so we've got that fold and then I'm going to fold that up like so. 
Okay. And, um, there we are. So next I've cut a few pieces, uh, of paper. I'm going to start with this scalloped, uh, rectangle die cut that I die cut out of white. And I'm going to stamp this little, this little girl is just like my favorite. She's got the curls going on, which I love. And so we're going to stamp this in black. Okay. And her hair actually takes up quite a bit of space on here. So we got to make sure we get it, you know, so there's enough room for all the hair. This I don't know why she reminds me of a Peanuts character, you know, like Snoopy the Peanuts. But anyway, so there we go. And are you okay out there? <laughs> Whitney's in the back choking on something. Just holler if you need the Heimlich. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear um so the sentiment that i'm going to add to this at the bottom says life is better with friends like you and i just think that's so sweet and i was going to do it in a color but here we are doing it in black all right so that's super cute now we're going to color her in and just gotta step over and grab my blends i haven't rearranged can you guys relate to this i haven't rearranged my blends to incorporate the new ones and take out the old ones it's a struggle i tell you but um i'm gonna pull a few let's see i've got that oh pink that's what i need polished pink and then I was actually going to use Calypso. Well, maybe yellow would be good. I can't even decide. Oh, it's so tricky. Okay, we're going to go with yellow. Oh, yeah, that'll be nice. Okay, <laughs> so um, I'm going to start uh, with some of our new... Stampin' Blends. And whenever I'm using blends and I'm not positive about the colors, I like to have a scrap here. So I want her to have brown curls. And actually, that is going to be a good color of brown. So this is the new SU200. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in little circles and color in her hair. Like I'm not coloring it in solid. I'm just kind of doing the little circles around. And I just think that looks so cute. All right. And then I'm going to use, I think, and again, I gotta make sure this is right. This is, oh, this is the ivory marker. So I'll just use that for her skin tone. Um, I do love that we have the uh, whole bunch of new skin tone markers actually the one I used for her hair is one of them so you can you can really get any combination of skin colors that you need out of these markers which is really nice because I also I grabbed this one too this was 100 so that was 200 that's 100 that's pretty dark too and actually I could put in some little circles just to add highlights now this is for her hair but um, these are also for skin tones too. So, and actually I like adding that darker tone kind of richens her hair up. So, all right, then we're going to, uh, color her little outfit. So she's going to have a polished pink top and, a orchid oasis, uh, skirt, I think. So I think that was my dark. And then we'll blend that out with my light. So 
so cute. And then I'm going to put a little bit of pink on my butterfly and then the rest will be yellow. And then I'm going to use, these are the Orchid Oasis markers and I'll start and put a little bit of dark down and then we'll blend it with the light. Okay, and she's obviously going to have leggings on and some pink shoes. Okay. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of crumb cake, my light crumb cake, and I'm just going to draw that kind of on the ground so that she's not floating in midair. Okay. There we go. Um, then, or let's finish off our butterfly. So I'm going to put a little bit of light daffodil kind of right here, and then we'll do dark on the outside. Oops. I think I saw someone say they don't use blends. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine my life without blends. They're they're kind of the best ever. Oh, so much better. They or they make everything so much better. And I'm gonna put a little bit more pink in there just so it kind of shows up a little better. So there we have it. Isn't that just cutie patootie? She's so sweet. Oh, okay. So we've got her colored. And as I mentioned, this is gonna be an easel card. So I'm going to layer this up on a couple pieces. I'm going to start by uh, popping this up on a layer of um, polished pink. And ooh, look at a new sheet of dimensionals. Now, I think you could do the same layout with any of the car, uh, stamped uh, people in this set you can change up the colors um obviously uh you could do any kind of color combination okay so there she is she's just so cute all right um and then i'm gonna adhere this layer to this layer okay as soon as i find my adhesive <laughs> here we go we're golden all right so I've got another um another scalloped uh rectangle that one I die cut out of the orchid oasis to coordinate with her skirt because you know we got to match stuff Okay, and then we can put this on here. And here's where I was trying to debate. Do I need anything else? Like I could put some designer series paper on here or I could um, leave it as is. I don't know what to do. Um, ooh, it's just such a tricky question. But I think I, think I might leave it. Okay. Now let's, um, because I'm worried that if I did something, it would become too much. I'm going to put some adhesive in the top half of this, just the top half, because we want to make sure that it opens up. Okay. And then we're going to stamp the other portion of our sentiment um, on here. And it says, thinking of you today. And we'll stamp that in some Orchid Oasis. Okay. Just making sure I've got that straight. Now this is a little uh, banner that I stamped 
or I die cut um, with some, um, or I'm sorry, from the Stylish Shapes dies. It goes right here. So there's um, four banners and one, two, three, four, five, six circles and one, two, three, four, five squares. So yay. All right. Okay. Sorry, I'm just reading. Okay, next up, we're going to take and adhere this popped up into our card on the inside. And I'll show you why. Because when our card opens, we want it to, to sit like this. So we're going to kind of push this up here. We want to make sure it's in the middle. Okay, and then our card will rest on there. And I might have put it up a little too high, to be honest, because it should be at a little bit of an angle still. Okay. There we go. There, that's not quite as severe an angle. So that's what makes it an easel card because it will rest on there like so. Okay, and there you have it. Isn't that sweet? Now you could, I, I actually am not even going to embellish it at all. You could add ribbons or, um, or even like some embellishments of some kind, but honestly, I think this is cute as is. There's plenty going on. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. So there you go. Oh my gosh, somebody gave me a tip. How awesome. Thank you. I don't know who did that, but I love it. You can do that. There's like, you can, um, you can give me tips. Uh, and that's really cool. It's, I'm not sure. I, it's, it may, it makes you a super fan and I don't know. I can't see what it looks like from here. I'm trying to look. I, I see a totally different thing. I wonder if I can click on this and it'll, oh no, it's not showing. But anyway, whoever did that, thank you. Oh, that makes me happy. Was that you, Cynthia, you little stinker? I really appreciate it. I love that. Okay. So there you go. Oh, that was our first card. Now our next card is, um, a fun one. Um, Featuring the Sending Smiles. I was working with this. Because um, we use this bundle for my um, my my May. So this past month's um, Sunshine and Creativity box. And this was a card that didn't make it into the class. But I really liked the card. So I wanted to create this for you. Sorry, I got my stamps out. Um, so... This is a very lovely card. So I'm going to first start by folding the uh, card base, which is Orchid Oasis once again. And I have die cut or like stitched die cut, I guess. This is the stitched greenery. I don't know. It sounds weird to say die cut, but that is technically what I did. Um, so it pierces the background. That's probably a more accurate description. So I'm going to adhere that to my card base. Um, and this, once again, is parakeet. Oh, Paula, you will not be disappointed. It's it goes with so many different things, which I think is what I love about it. It's very, very versatile. Ooh, and then, you know what? I just realized something. I was rocking out pretty hard um, right before my live. I went on on my live, and I realized I did not cut the pieces for this, but I did cut the pieces I need, so that is good news. So um, now what I love about this stamp set is it comes with two dies that say sending. So there's 
the detailed die, and then there's also a solid die. Now the cool part is the solid die will coordinate with the stamp in this set, and then the detailed die will um, layer with these two dies, so that's pretty cool. And then, um, and then there's also a couple of other things. Now I die cut this background in two different colors. I've got Starry Sky and I also have um, Orchid Oasis. So you're going to have to help me decide which layer I do, either this one or this one. Let me know. And then I also have, there's an eye in Sending and I have the eye. <laughs> it's right here on my post-it. <laughs> um, so it it came out of the die. Sometimes it stays in the die. By the way, do you know there's sometimes pieces that stay stuck in your die? If you just drop it on a surface like that, they often come out. I'm, that's just a tip. I like to, um, I like to smack stuff on my work surface. <laughs> okay. Anywho, um, <laughs> let's get back to our card here. So I'm going to take two pieces of two and a quarter inch white cardstock. I'm saying that out loud because as mentioned, as previously mentioned, I haven't cut them yet. So I've got a scrap here. I've got a trimmer. Let's cut these two pieces, two and a quarter inch square. And then we're gonna cut um, a layer to go on to set them on as well okay so there's one square here's two okay and then I'm going to do starry sky and on this I'm going to do two and three eighths so that's just a little bigger than two and a quarter Okay, and I will cut two of those as well. So there's two and a quarter, two and three eighths, one and two. Okay, now now these are in um, Starry Sky. The first one, I can't lose my eye. The first, or I'm sorry, or we're going to stamp on these first. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, goodness. It sure didn't come out that way, though, did it? They're going to go on here like this, though. Okay. So um, I'm going to take some Parakeet Party because that'll, of course, match my background. And I'm going to stamp the first one on here, kind of like this. Okay, that looks great. Now the second one, I'm actually going to take and rearrange on my block here slightly. So to do that, I'm going to clean this off. And then this time I want it to kind of... Um, curl in the other direction okay so to do that uh, I want to put this on here and then I'm going to kind of curve my stamp on the block because it's photopolymer we can do that sometimes I forget that that makes that's kind of what makes photopolymer so awesome okay so now you can see it's kind of pointed in the other direction I'm gonna ease it off just a touch because that was a little bit aggressive. Sometimes it helps to look at it like this. Okay. And then I'll stamp that on there like that. And now you can see they're pointing at two different directions. So I love that. Um, Deb, yes, your box is coming. It's a long story, but it's on its way. I'll send you a message. <laughs> okay, 
Now I'm gonna take and stamp my flowers on here. And I'm gonna do those in Orchid Oasis. Ooh, it sounds like, uh, sounds like there's some tornadoes happening. Y'all stay safe. Okay, so there's one. And then here is another. You can see they're just kind of in different directions. Um, this is from Sending Smiles, this bundle. Okay. Now, let me close this up. All right, uh, we need to put centers in here. And for that, I'm going to use Mango Melody, which is a really fun color for the center. Ooh, did I take... I'm looking for my center stamp. Ooh, I'm not sure if I pulled that out yet or not. I hope it's still in here. Oh, ooh, it isn't. That's not good because I'm not sure where it is. Ruh row. Okay, we'll find it. Okay, so I had my stamps sitting here and one of them is missing, which is kind of something that happens occasionally. My guess is it's stuck to something because that happens way more often than I'd ever care to admit. So I'm going to keep going and then we'll find that stamp. Um, I guarantee we'll, it'll be stuck to something. Is it stuck to the stamp set? No. Fooey. Just looking at all the stuff that it could be stuck to, to see if it's here. And so far it's not. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to keep working on my card and then. Hopefully we'll find it. That's the problem with clear stamps sometimes is they're clear, so you can't find them. Okay, I'm going to layer this up and then you can tell me in just a moment because I'm going to show you the options if we want orchid or starry sky for our background on the word sending. Okay, so I'm going to attach both of these to my card. And by the way, thank you all so much. You guys left such sweet, sweet comments last week. I'm so grateful for that. It was really fun reading them. I was actually going through them and responding to some of them today. Um, and I will go back and finish the rest of them. But y'all left such sweet comments. We did have a little, we actually had a couple of trolls last week. So that was very, very um, appreciated. I guess one wasn't an, an, a troll per se, but she just wasn't familiar with how things go here in our lives. All right, so here's one option. We could do sending in the lighter color, and then we're going to add um, a sentiment here in a darker color. Or we could do sending on the darker color. Okay, and then the sentiment. So do we want this in lighter or darker? So orchid or starry sky. While you're doing that, um, I'm going to stamp the sentiment on here, which is going to be embossed in white powder. Okay, so, well, there was one troll that was um, offering, let's just say, inappropriate video links, <laughs> should you click on them. Don't worry, that guy got deleted <laughs> and blocked. 
but it was kind of like, oh, I see. Oh my gosh, am I missing my sentiment too? Ah, that's not good. Oh, for goodness sakes. I don't see it, don't see it. Did it fall between? No. There's not even that many places it could have gone. Is it on my desk? See, this is why I should always just mount my stamps right away. Oh, wait, here it is. Okay, so sending smiles across the miles. I love that. Okay, and then let's see what we have. Lighter, lighter, darker, 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 lighter, 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 darker, lighter, lighter, darker. Oh, boy. Lighter, lighter, darker, lighter, lighter. Lighter, 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 darker, darker, lighter, 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 darker, lighter, lighter, darker, darker, lighter. You guys, oh my goodness. Most of you are saying darker. No, lighter. I feel like lighter was winning. Oh. All right. Well, we're going to stamp sending across the miles or smiles across the miles like so in my Versamark. And then we're going to heat that with some white powder. <laughs> Helpful, aren't we? You guys are cracking me up. Lighter wins, but darker is better. LOL. <laughs> oh, you guys are cracking me up. I see how it is. I wish there was a feature where you could, like, we could collect them. I'll put them both in your bingo bowl and pick one. <laughs> That's funny. I love, I love the suggestions. Okay, so let's heat this up. And then I wish I could figure out where the center of my thingy is because that does really make a difference on our card. There is just something magical about heating up embossing powder and seeing it melt. Oh, it just never ever gets old. Can't I do a poll? I wish I could. I don't um, I don't actually know how to do that. Um, as far as I know, there's not a way to to actually do a poll where it calculates it for me. That would be a really cool feature, though, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm going to take some mini dimensionals. And we're going to pop this up. Check underneath my trimmer. Ooh. Good idea, because I did. You are just so right. I did pull that out. And you know what? That's often where I find random stuff is stuck to that or like my Stamparatus. I found um, a die was stuck to my Stamparatus. Actually, I found dies stuck to my Stamparatus more than once. And um, it kind of cracks me up. Like, what happens? Oh, someone sent me another tip. You guys are the best. How sweet is that? Thank you. And oh, not stuck on the bottom of my trimmer. But that was a really good guess. I'm looking on the edges too. Nope. It's not there. Sad. Sad, sad face. Okay. Um, so I've got my sentiment on there. I'm also going to add a little bit of twine. We've got our, oops, wrong, wrong twine. We've got our in color twine here. MS Teams has a poll section. Well, yeah, but we're not on that. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the YouTube where there's not a poll. I can do a poll on Facebook. I just can't do a poll while I'm live here on YouTube. That's kind of the difference. Okay, so I've just tied a little bow. Now I did use the orchid for this. Okay. 
And y'all are saying do the flower center with a blend, and that's a possibility too, but the color I want to do it with, we don't actually have a blend for. So that's kind of a bummer as far as that goes. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak this under here like the little stealthy person that I am when it comes to stamping. So there's my bow. Okay. Now let's just do our our word. So I'm going to flip this around and take out some liquid glue and my silicone mat. This is my favorite way. Okay. Now, <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm giggling because <laughs> I don't think we used to, we've ever had a blend in mango, actually, have we? I don't remember. Is it on my sleeves? That's a good question. I don't think so. No, it's not. That's usually where I first look. I don't know, you guys. I always find this stuff like right after I'm done with my live, but we'll get there. Okay, so I'm, uh, I've am i got my glue out. So um, here at my house, uh, I live with two boys right now. I have a, um, I have a teenage boy and an adult husband who um, is a, is a probably a teenage boy in as an adult you know he never grew up as as i suspect many of you have have people like that in your lives adult adults who never grew up so anyway um and we're big fans of the office as many of you know and so that's what she said is uttered around these parts like a billion times a day and a billion might be actually a conservative estimate it's hard to say but, <laughs> um, yeah, we did have mango blends, didn't we? Anyway, so I've got my, I've got my eye and what I'm going to do is take my take your pick tool and I'm going to, to get a little ink off of here or not ink, that's glue. And then I'm going to set it right down. And sometimes the tacky is stickier than the glue, but it will stay in place eventually. And there we go. So I, I like kept it on my post-it so I wouldn't lose it. And then I attached it to there. And I think the eye really does make a big difference. I think it looks great. Um, now, because we're using white, you really need it. If you're using a different color, you could color the eye in should you lose it. But um, there you go. Okay, so now I'm going to add this to my card like this. And we'll pop it up because everything's better popped up, you know. And then hopefully before we're done with our live, we're going to move on to our next project. And I know as soon as I stop thinking about it, that's when my missing supplies always tend to show up. So hopefully we'll have it back here in just a couple of minutes. And then I think, I think we need to have, um, I have some leftover cake for dessert tonight. I was just thinking that might be yummy. Whitney brought cake for me last week for my birthday, which was really sweet. Actually, Whitney brought me like birthday week presents. There was something every day. It was very sweet of her. And my Ella got me flowers, which was really nice as well. Okay, here we go. Sandra, it's 1 a.m. in Germany. You should be asleep. I'm just saying you should. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to trim the end off of that. But look at how fun this is. Okay, now I'm going to show you another version of this. Okay, so here it is with the center. See, those really are cute. And then um, you can see this one has the darker sending. 
This one has the lighter. Does that change anybody's opinions? Let me know. Oh my gosh, you guys, I got more tips. Thank you. That's so cool. So exciting. So there we have it. Um, I kind of like both. I don't even know if, if it, you know, has to be one versus the other. They're both cute. They're saying check the sides of your box. I know that is that is a good place to check and often where things show up. I don't see them. Okay, so there we go. Um, I'm going to keep going, though, just so we get through our cards. But I promise um, we'll, we'll find it. But now you, you saw what it looked like, so... I love it. You guys are like both. I like the darker. I like the lighter. There's usually there's a little bit more consensus. This is one that's really been kind of in between. I'm checking around my ink pads, checking my water, my wine glass of water. It's for coloring. It's not for drinking. Just so y'all know, even though I did talk about going to my concert and potentially being hungover which is funny because I don't drink really hardly at all. Okay, anywho, um, we're going to move on. Our next card is with um, one of my favorites. This is a new bundle, which is the Cottage Rose Bundle. I have a really pretty card for this, and um, we're going to do a little, what do you call this? I would say maybe... Um, Oh, what do you call it when you do two things at once? <laughs> should I should know. Um, multitasking. That's the word I'm looking for. A little multitasking. So I've got some swaps I have to get in the mail tomorrow. And this is actually one of them. And so I'm going to fold my card base. This is um, Blushing Bride. Okay. And I've got my... Um, my card is crooked, so let's fix that. <laughs> and two, I can't remember who it was in Germany who can't sleep. I'm so sorry, but thanks for watching my show. <laughs> I'm, I'm honored that that is what you've decided to watch in your insomnia, but I hope you can fall back asleep. Oh, I found it, you guys. It was stuck to another case. <laughs> I told you as soon as we got, as soon, as soon as we finished this, um, I'd find it. Okay, so there we go. We're going to hop back to this card. It really does need the center, though. Oh, my goodness. Did someone just say, Sharon, you retired? Well, that's exciting. Congratulations. Oh, see, isn't that better? Love it. I use mango for that. Okay. I'm feeling better about this. It's, you know, it's like unfinished business. Okay, back to our card at hand. Okay, so we're going to use the Cottage Rose Um bundle and this one has this gorgeous flower and you know what I can't wait to tackle this baby and color it like the coloring boss that I do believe I am but today's not that day I wanted something simple but pretty for my swap okay so I'm going to take some basic gray ink and this large um, floral image, which by the way, I really am excited about coloring this both in watercolors and in um, Stampin' Blends. I think it'll be gorgeous in both, but for today, we're going to stamp it on here in some basic gray ink. All right. Oh, look at me. I hate when that happens. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to clean my stamp real quick. And then we're going to surgically remove the problem. <laughs> you may have seen me do stamp surgery before. Seriously. Okay, so um, I've got my stamp here. But it's got this edge. And that edge bugs me. So I'm going to take some snips. 
and um, I'm going to go around the image and I'm cutting at an angle so that the, the foam on the bottom is going to be bigger than the rubber that I'm cu cutting away. Oh, that just ticks me off. I've been having that happen kind of a lot lately. But anyway, we'll solve that problem with our surgical removal of the rubber. And this is something I used to always do before we had die cut stamped images. So you want a short bladed scissor to cut that away so that you don't cut off things that are supposed to stay there. Like I wouldn't want to accidentally cut off any of these little thingies. Okay. And... Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to stamp, stick that back on there. I'm going to stamp this once again, this time without that darn edge catching. And voila, it's beautiful. Whew. <laughs> okay. Now, this set has some very lovely sentiments in it, so I'm going to choose one of those best wishes, and we're going to be careful so as to not catch the edge, and there we did it again! Okay, since I'm out of different sides of paper, I'm going to take my sand eraser and cut that, and I even looked at that, I was like, should I cut it? No, I'll know not to rock it too much, I'll be careful. Serious. Okay, anywho, there we go. Um, I used my little sand eraser to get most of the rest of this off. Okay, it did, it's not too bad, but there we have it. <sighs> Sometimes people, I tell you. Okay, now I want to do a little coloring on here. And so we do not have a Blushing Bride blend but we do have a Blushing Bride marker and we're gonna color very limitedly. So I'm gonna take my marker um, to do this. Um, Jean has a question. Why doesn't Stampin' Up! trim our rubber more closely to prevent this? And um, the answer to that is because it would increase the cost of our stamps probably a lot. That is a fairly labor intensive process. And it's the same reason why our stamps um, don't come like mounted permanently on anything. Um, the, the cost of doing that. So they actually have people who, um, who line, who line up the outline of the images. I've actually met this person who does this, which is pretty cool. And, you know, they, they trim the most majority of the rubber off for us, which is really nice. Before, our stamps actually used to come just um, cut into squares or rectangles around the shape. Like, so if, <laughs> like literally this, the whole block would be rubber and then all that excess we used to have to manually cut off. So they've done most of it for us, um, which is pretty handy. And, and honestly, I don't do this with all my stamps, just some of them. Um, but it would, it would dramatically increase the cost of our stamps like quite a bit, um, which is also this, one of the same reasons why we don't have, um, certain things manufactured in the United States. Like people always say, oh, buy English and that's, or buy English, buy, buy American. And that's wonderful. Um, but for instance, a set of dies would cost us probably six to eight times what they currently cost us if they were made in the USA. And that's if you could find a factory that would make them. Factories in the United States are set up to make big items like cars and machinery and big heavy equipment. They're not set up to make small sets of artistic dyes. So that's why we get them from other countries such as China. 
um, because they would cost us like a set of dies would easily be a hundred or or 150 even $200 for a set. And I'm pretty sure that would price everybody out of them. So that's why it is that way. Because um, it, it's, it's the manufacturing cost is, is much, much higher. Okay. So anyway, after our, after our lesson in supply chain management, <laughs> let's finish our card. So I've got this layered up on some... Uh, pool um pool party what am i saying blushing bride uh so the pieces here are i don't know i cut them a long time ago uh let me find my ruler and then i'll tell you oh goodness everything's i have like six rulers can i find any of them right now no story of my life okay so um, three and a half by two is the white. Then we've got three and three quarters by two and a quarter. Okay. Then we're going to put it on another piece of white, which is going to be four and a quarter by two and three quarters. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say the, the next layer is usually a quarter inch. I actually don't always do a quarter inch. Um, and this one is going to be a half of an inch bigger. So we've kind of got some variety. Um, a quarter of an inch is standard, but I actually do eighth of an inch quite often. Um, it just kind of depends. So for instance, on the first card we did, or second card we did, with the purple and the green, those there was a quarter inch layer, but there was also an eighth inch layer on that one. And then here we've got a half inch layer. So while that might be kind of standard, I actually use lots of different sizes of layers. Okay, so there we go, that's pretty. Then we've got this layer. Now this is a four by five and a quarter inch. And um, I have embossed this with the quatrefoil embossing folder. Isn't that gorgeous? So I just did the very edge of it, which I think is so pretty. And we're going to take some of the new ribbon that's in this suite, possibly. I say possibly because I found it. It was still in my drawer and I wasn't sure if I had it out yet or not. And since I've been losing like everything I've touched so far today, you never know. Okay, so I've got this um, the strip. Yeah, I like the variations too. I think they add a lot of interest to cards um, when they're not all the same, especially on this one. Okay, so I've got my ribbon, and this ribbon is really pretty. It is called the Natural Finish Ribbon. And you can put this on here like so. So I've just adhered that. And I want to make sure it's on here straight. So I find it's helpful to line the, the design of the folder up with the edge of the ribbon so that it's really pretty. Okay. Aw, well, thank you. I try to make nice cards. Most of the time it works, but not always. I have some... I have some duds in there every so often. I try not to do those in videos, though. <laughs> the duds usually only get <laughs> seen in person. All right, so I'm going to adhere this uh, to my card base. Okay. Like so. And by the way, I'm making a whole bunch of these cards for a card swap, so I've got to actually make 23 more of them. But I had the paper cut, so I figured I'd show you. You know, two birds with one stone. Kind of, I'm all about that. So I did the coloring by just coloring in that little center section. And that adds a little pop of color, but it keeps the card nice and neat and simple. Okay, so there we go. Now the only other thing I want to do is embellish a little bit. And I could use these new solid faceted gems because they're super pretty. By the way, if you're watching and could give me the thumbs up, that would rock my world. 
So these are so pretty and look at how shiny. They add such a nice little shine to everything. So I think this might be just the perfect little touch. And we're gonna take and put a couple of them on here. So I'm gonna stick one right there and another one, I think right there. So there we go. Uh, the embossing folder is the quatrefoil folder. Um, okay, so there we go. Isn't that pretty? But this just adds a nice little pop of color without having to do this. Paula likes the shimmery sparkle <laughs> of the gems. I know I do too. Um, and speaking of shimmery sparkle, I like how she spelled that, by the way. Uh, I am going to put a little shimmer on here because we can add some shimmer without coloring and it's likely colored. So remember that flowers are white so often. Um, and so we're just going to color them. Was the flower stamped in memento? No, it was stamped in um, basic gray ink. Okay, so I'm just going to add some sparkle, pardon me, sparkle. <laughs> I like saying it with the S-C-H. And that is my clear wink of Stella. And then, I don't know if you can see that in the light or not, but it's really pretty in person. Just added another, a little bit more sparkle. Okay, so there's our third card. One final card. And this one is my fave because it's happy. You know, I love the happy cards. Okay, so this next card features um, the... Um, ooh. Oh, oh man. I don't have all the pieces here. Ooh. That's okay. We'll do it. We'll get there. All right, so this next one features the... Um, tea cup of tea bundle which is what I'm I'm using for my online class this month it is the cards you guys are fantabulous they really are quite fun um and they're what I love about them is they're just happy cards but not like smack you across the face bright in your face happy cards just like fun happy cards I mean they're not bright they're I guess what I'm trying to say is they're bright but not like too bright so anyway um okay so I'm gonna start with a piece of white cardstock um the last stamp set was called cottage rose okay so now we've got cup of tea Okay, so on this one, we're going to um, we're going to use my favorite image in the whole set, which is this little slice of lemon or whatever, whatever you want it to be, and then we're going to cut our teacup out of this. Um, okay, and there's different there's dyes that you can do with this too but I'm gonna start with some daffodil delight and we're just going to stamp our little slices of lemon on here like so kind of randomly I'll close this up Next, I will do Parakeet Party, but first I shall clean my stamp. Starting to run out of room. You know, this is our last card. It's always the messiest. Oh my gosh, it's already 6.30. Goodness gracious! <sighs> I've not been using my time very wisely today. I apologize. We've been chit-chatting. We've been looking for stuff. There's always something. Okay, so there we go. We've got Parakeet Party. So we've got lemon slices, we've got lime slices, and now we're doing flirty flamingo slices. 
All right, so I'm gonna throw some flirty flamingos in here. I'm gonna stick one up there and right there. I'll close this up. And I know I have ink on my background and we'll just wipe it up like that. Okay, so there we go. Super duper cute. I'm going to attach this to this layer, but first I'm gonna die cut a teacup detail out of this really quick. Oh, my dog says hi, she's in here. Oh, hi. Well, hi, do you need some love? You need some love, don't you? Hello. Hello. Come on. Okay. Come on. She wants to say hi to y'all. Okay. I'm also going to die cut a solid teacup from my scrap. Because you hear her. She whines when she, she knows she can't jump up, but she wants love. <laughs> Mostly we call it pathetic, but... Also, I'll tell you what that is. That was, I'm hungry, what's for dinner? Because I'm usually done by now. But we're almost there. Okay, so I've got my little teacup. I've got my layer of cardstock. And then I've got my detail teacup. So we'll just get all the pieces out. I love how they just fall out. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna adhere this to this. Like so. And then I've got my teacup. I gotta get rid of these. Clean off my work surface here. Okay, she can't fit on my lap. Um, no, she's pretty big. <laughs> um, you want a puppy video bomb? <laughs> Sorry. I Well, I do have a little video. Maybe I'll post it on my Facebook page. I have a little video of her um, going back and forth between Ella and Carl when Ella was home last week. She couldn't decide who was going to give her the most love. So she kept running back and forth between the two of them, which is pretty cute. Um, she she kind of went berserko when Ella came home last week, which was fun. She was very excited to see her big sister. I say big sister, even though that is obviously not really what she is. <laughs> okay. So there we go. I'm just going to line that up once again. And isn't that cute? I love this. Okay. Then I'm going to take and add um, some ribbon. Just trying to decide what ribbon I want to use. There's this. Um, I wonder if this would work. This is, it says soft seafoam ri ribbon, but I almost wonder, maybe it would work. Because it's a little light going across here. Eh, that's too see-through. I want it to be darker. I wish we had a good white ribbon. We don't really have a white ribbon. Oh, I also need to stamp this cute little tag um, on a scrap of white like that and then we'll die cut it out oh look like that our little tea bag I said tag it's a tea bag tag okay oh and actually I need to stamp one more sentiment on here so the only thing um the only thing I oh my gosh Cynthia wait till you see our cards they are so amazing if you like even remotely like this one, you'll go kind of nutso for the class. I'm just saying. I don't mean to toot my own horn, except wow. <laughs> okay. They're going to be pretty cool. 
All right. Now our sentiment says, take care of yourself, which I love. And we're just going to stamp that right about here. Okay. And then we're going to add our little teacup here. And you know what? Since I can't quite find what I want, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm just, um, I can't find quite the ribbon that I want. So I'm just going to take and put a piece of cardstock over this border. Um, and I will actually, I'll show you, well, I'll show you in a second, but I think this is actually going to look a little better. All right. So I'll adhere that strip. This is just a half of an inch strip. And you can see I have it just kind of going right over the edge there. And then I'll trim that down like that. Uh, Barbara, yes, your PDF was emailed to you like today um I know I'm such an enabler it's bad I know sometimes I'm really naughty about enabling but you won't be disappointed okay I'm going to take some of that twine again and we're going to use just a little piece of this to do our tag. Oh boy, where'd my tag go? This is the story of my life. Here it is. Whew! I was really worried I lost this one. <laughs> okay, so I've got a glue dot on here. I'm actually going to do two. So it's kind of over the whole back side of the tag. And I've got a little teeny hunk of my twine. And I'm going to, oops. I'm going to tuck this. Oh, I forgot these things stick to my nails super bad. Um, I've got a little glue dot. We're going to tuck that behind the cuff or the tea cup. Seriously, this couldn't be more difficult. Could it? Let's get our tool out. Shove that back in there. And then this little bit is going to come out and we'll cover it like that. There we go. Tea bag hanging out of the cup. All right. Now I'm going to attach this to my card. First, I got to straighten this up, though. It's cut a little bit crooked. And there we have it. A super fun card. Gosh, this was a long live, you guys. Sorry about that. Okay, one final touch. Because we had to. Uh, we're going to put some... Um, some of our iridescent rhinestones on here. I'm going to put two right there and one more up here. And that just adds a nice little shimmer, shimmer to it. Isn't this so fun? Um, I know it's really bright, but um, I think, it, I mean, would this not cheer you up and make you feel better? <gasps> oh, totally. Okay. So um, I'm going to bring in my cards. So we have that one. We have that cute little easel card with that sweet little girl. We've got the sending smiles across the miles card in either starry sky background or orchid oasis background. The jury's still out as to which one was better. And then we've got our cottage rose card. So if you loved the projects that uh, I shared today, could you pretty please with sugar on top, give me the thumbs up. I'd be so grateful. Ooh, someone said troll, but I don't see. I don't see any. Um, so I hope you loved these cards. Of course, if you need to purchase any of the supplies I used today, I'd be so grateful for your business. Um, you can shop in, um, my online store. There's links in the description of this video and, um, 
Uh, and of course, uh, the classes I mentioned are going out uh, th- between this week and next week. So we've got the Wisteria Wishes class, which are just fun, easy cards. Um, we've got the Tea Boutique cards, also fun and really pretty easy, but lots lots of fabulous projects um, in that class. And then the Hues of Happiness, uh, Sunshine and creativity delivered box that goes out next week, but you have to subscribe to it by uh, the 31st. So if you have any questions about any of this or anything else, don't hesitate to drop me a note. Otherwise, again, thumbs up helps me so much with YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um, so you don't uh, miss any of my awesome videos. And I will not see you next week, uh, but I will be back the week after. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.